Yeah, there's a wall of a wall of shit. Yeah, I mean, nothing like vinyl, you know. It's just so nice to be able to just put on a record and be like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound, man. Yeah? Like real music. Hello, uh, Mario Caldado here. Mario, say like to keep it clean, clean. You're at uh, my house, which is my studio at the moment. Um, as you can see, it's full of toys and things. I started off um, working with uh, a label called Delicious Vinyl from Los Angeles that was started in about 87, 88. And the first artist uh, we worked with was Tone Loke. Obviously, the uh, the Wild Thing was a, a huge success and um, Smash Record went to number one Billboard. So that's pretty awesome. We managed to pull that off from an apartment, uh, a living room, studio with a vocal booth being a closet. And then that opened up uh, uh, the door to working with the Beastie Boys on their second record, Paul's Boutique which was uh, a real important uh, group that, that I've you know, worked with for 10 years. And you know, we, we had a nice uh, run of four albums all together uh, working. And um, Check Your Head, No Communication, and Hello Nasty. This is the uh, original collage for the uh, inner sleeve of the Check Your Head. So this is, this is handmade, the pictures, everybody brought in pictures and actually the wives <laughs> uh, would work on this while we were in the studio working on Check Your Head, which just took two and a half years. It took a long time, it was a lot of time. And it's, it's you know, Beastie Boys crew, you know, family, friends, dogs, cats, you know, <laughs> everybody. This is my friend Roberto Steinway. It's a hundred year old, I got a B3. Classico, we got a nice old Wurlitzer here with the uh, speakers on the side here. It's a really kind of unique um, version here. Fender Rhodes, 73, uh, nine, like a 1972, so it has the nice touch and action. Super Stevie Wonder style clavinet, marimbas, vibes, Celeste, all kinds of fun stuff here, bass kalimbas. We actually used that on Jack Johnson on a, on a track. This the, the bass for "I Got You," his last single. This is the bass. Damn. Like yeah, a Merlot, boom, boom, rocking it. There's an old Gibson uh, organ too. That's that's a classic. That's the Strawberry Fields. <laughs> the, and the Doors. Doors rock that one. That one's. Super bomb. Should we go to the garage here? Have a look. We got old Whirlies, Multivox, Korgs. What is this? Pro One, SH101. We got a Yamaha here and Mini Korg, Prodigy. Mo they all work, actually. <laughs> These are the type of samplers that we use for the Beastie Boys on uh, Check Your Head Nail Communication, the EMI SP1200. We all had, had one, each one of us, at home. So we'd work on stuff at home and bring it in. And the MPC60 is what we use to sequence not only the, the music, but also the, the mutes. We had a, a MIDI board that did mutes. This is our classic Maestro pedal, which we use like for Beastie Boys stuff. Actually, the song, The Maestro. We, this is the kind of pedal that was used. Um, I found this brand new at like East LA in a like Mexican music shop. It's like 20 bucks. <laughs> what do we got here? We got original oh, Mutron Biphys, phasers here, talk boxes. What do we got here? We got 
more pedals rolling. Hey, 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 303, original. Four on the floor, percussion, baby. In case this is some money mark kind of shit. In case you wanna do your one man show, that's how they used to do it. Original Mutron, best thing for the roads and on the base. Those are the funk right here and uh, ring modulator. My Astro running shit. My first home studio, which was just a two bedroom operation that, you know, uh, turned into, you know, a whole studio and eventually having to outgrow it and having, you know, getting married and having kids, you needed some space and I moved out. But it's basically the same equipment as the studio, it just keeps expanding. Um, I started off as a keyboard player, so I've always um, enjoyed collecting old keyboards, analog keyboards, through the years picking up bits and pieces here and there. Uh, Money Mark is a good friend. He's We've worked together on, on many things, and his brother is a is a a hunter of, of equipment, and he'd uh, do the you know the lockers stuff, you know, finding stuff at pawn shops and you know people storages and stuff. And like, hey, I got something here today, <laughs> and I would slowly buy stuff, gear, pedals, mics, and things, and slowly you know manage to put together a studio. You you get your sound, and then you kick in like boom, yeah. I'm there. <laughs> 